Welcome to another beater box, very exciting beater box unboxing. This one is the most expensive on this channel, along with the most expensive that I have ever, ever along with the most expensive I have ever purchased, and I'm very excited to open it. It was about a thousand and twelve dollars after shipping and tax. I'm in California, so I have to pay tax on it. It's whatever. So yeah, it came out to like a thousand twelve dollars. Really excited to open this up. And I'm just gonna get right into it so I don't pee myself. First pair has no box. It is these cute little sixes. I don't know the names of these. Maybe this is a woman's colorway. Maybe it's not. I don't know. This has no box. This is size 7 youth, not DS. Some gray action, not a lot of creasing. I think they're pretty cute. I definitely pop these on my girl and tell her to rock them. Sock them. Here's the other shoe. Very clean condition, size 7 youth, no box, onward. Next pair, I just got these in my last one. Uh, these are the Mar Marvin Martians Jordan 7s. Uh, these are size 13, so a fat shoe, slightly used. Uh, the other ones I have, I don't remember what size they are. They could be, I, they're size 11. I have them in size 11 as well, uh, both great condition. These have no box, the size 11s have a box. Very clean, bottoms. Um, yeah, that's all for those. If you want to check out my previous video, it was a double beater box unboxing. Just wanted to fill you in there. Free to do what you want. Anyway, the size 9 NMD. This colorway is a choice. NMD XR1. This is like the green camo. Um... What's weird is they look DS, everything is DS, the bottoms are DS, they have the shoe dong in it, uh, and everything. There's just one little yellow mark in this circle right here that is very hard to see, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, that's the only thing that wouldn't make it DS, everything else is perfect, and the tag, and the tag is right here, so, I don't know. The closest to DS possible, size 9, XR1s. Next pair. Uh, seven and a half youth, another youth size. Some small size is probably building up to something great. Uh, these are pretty snazzy. So Jordan 3s, I don't know the colorway of these, personally. Don't know 3s very well. After thorough as ever inspection, I have come to the conclusion that these are DS. Nowhere on the bottom, still got the shoe dong. Here's the other one. No cracking, no paint chipping, no star loss. I'm a star. Size seven and a half youth. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, my favorite chew. If you guys don't know, I really don't like foam posits. No hate to anybody who does. I, hey man, if they're your thing, rock them. Hit them up, they're just not my personal favorite. These look a lot like the Nike Yeezys. Uh, I think that they're modeled after them. They have no box. Pretty nice condition, the bottoms aren't too worn at all. Uh, it's probably a youth size as well, no box. Size 7 youth, no box, some foams, clean bottoms. Yeah! I know what these are. These are some Gammas, size 9.5. I love Jordan 11s, as you guys know. I've gotten Concords, I've gotten Space Jams, I've gotten Bread 11s, I've basically made the works when it comes to selling these. Um, has the, the thing. The bottoms aren't too yellow. I mean, they're just, just a faded. They're not really blue anymore. It's a very subtle blue. Um, has the shoe dong in it. Uh, some heel creasing. They're used. There's a, they're a used pair of Gamma 11s, size 9.5. Original box with the thing. Love how easy these are to get back in. Did it size 11 there we go bigger size uh concord lows got some size 11 concord lows these are cute these are used but very very slightly used um i mean at, looking at it on camera they look like they've never been worn um ever so slight toe creasing nothing on the top just i mean it's really it's like it's some some barely used concord lows in the house I'm your guy if you want to buy! Another youth size. Four and a half youth. That's a little small. Oh, now, aren't these a treasure? Some Space Jams. Some DS Space Jams. Size four and a half youth. 
Original box, original sticker. Boom, still laced up in the factory for Bay or your child or whoever has small feet. Oh my gosh, it's very heavy. I don't know what these are. This is a heavy box. There is no anything on here except for these things which look like locks to unlock it. Hope it doesn't kill me. Yo, man. I've seen pictures of these, but I thought they were, I didn't know they were actually released. I'm gonna do research on them and come right back. Okay, so I did some research because I wanted to inform you guys and keep you up to speed and whatever. We got some Chinese New Year, Jordan 11s, boom, got some red and black carbon five looking clean as ever. I'm gonna show you the inside of the box here. Uh, boom, there's the box, there's the shoes. Insane. I looked it up and only 30 pairs of these were made as like a con condom. Only 30 pairs of these were made as like a sample um, concept shoe. You got the gold, the gold tips. I mean, the shoe is beautiful. It comes with this bandana. This is what the bandana looks like. It's in this tube. Uh, it comes with this hanky, this red hanky, and these two tassels for the shoes. There's no tag on the inside because they were a sample, so I don't know what size these are by the looks of it. I think they're size like 10 and a half ish I don't know, I'm just eyeballing it. Uh, but there's no tag, no serial number. And there's not a single pair on GOAT. There's not a single pair on StockX, eBay, Flight Club, nothing. There's not, you cannot, uh, from my research, you cannot buy these from anywhere. Nobody is selling them. So, that's the final pair. They retailed at $988. These will definitely be the most expensive shoe I ever sell, slash most expensive that's on the website. Just lock it up with these little teeth here, so no one steals it. Ha <laughs> ha, all right. At those shoes right there, I feel like are valued at more than the box itself. I'm thrilled with that. Everything will be on my website in the description. Uh, if you're local, then you'll save on shipping fees. I'm in Burbank, California, as I always say. Uh, website, Twitter, Instagram, contact slash PayPal email. It's all going to be in the description. Everything is going to be for sale. Check out my other videos. I got a lot of stock. Trying to help you guys out with some shoes for some good prices. Thank you ever so much for watching. I am a growing channel. If you could share or tell your friends or whatever, I'm just trying to help people out with shoes for good prices and make money myself. Subscribe, like, do whatever you want to do because this is America and I will see you guys in the next unboxing.